this week I have got the brand new Ford Ranger Sport, which is very exciting. This is the five-seater dual cab ute. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. And don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on our socials. <laughs> The child seat section of this review is brought to you by InfraSecure. In the back of the new Ford Ranger, there are Isofix in the two outer seats. They're not within plastic guides, but they're nice and easy to connect to. There are top tether anchorages for the two outer seats only in the new Ford Ranger, and they are behind the rear seat back, which you pull forward in one piece, and nice and easy to connect those top tethers. I did find it easy in this new one. Now, with there being only two top tether anchorages, the central seat, the only seat I could put there is the InfraSecure versatile folding booster seat, which fits really nicely with two tethered seats either side. Now, I have got the brand new InfraSecure Adapt More capsule in this side, and this is fantastic for utes because the top tether strap is attached to the base, not the capsule itself. And every time you take the capsule in and out of the ute, you don't have to adjust the top tether strap every time, which is a winner. Now, legroom is really good in this new Ford Ranger. We could get a 180 centimeter passenger or driver in front of a rear-facing child seat. To learn more about the child seats used in this video, just click on the link here. Storage in the back of the new Ford Ranger is good. There's a fold down in the central seat back that's got two cup holders. They'll hold a reusable or a disposable coffee cup and a refillable water bottle fits in them too. On the front of the central seat base, there's some little pockets and you can store phones in there, which is really handy. There are door bins in the back here. They'll hold a refillable water bottle and an iPad will fit in them too. And there are good size map pockets on the back of both front seats. They'll hold and conceal an iPad. There are air vents in the back of the rear central console box, which is fantastic for keeping those rear passengers the right temperature while you're driving along and there is extra hidden storage underneath the rear seat base. Storage in the front is really good. There are two cup holders in the central console. They'll hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup and a refillable water bottle fits in them too. Now in front of them is a funny little slot with a picture of hot chips or fries in there. So I have actually tested it. You can get a small Macca's fries in there, which is a funny little storage. In front of that is a wireless phone charging well, and you've got USB and USB-C sockets in there too. The central console box is a really good size and you've got a 12 volt socket in there. There's a glasses case in the ceiling. Thank you very much Ford for um, keeping that because most people are getting rid of them now, but I do miss them. And the glove box is a really good size in here. That will hold my iPad and wallet with the manual and it's also got a little shelf on the dashboard there for your phone or glasses or whatever. In the top spec model you do actually get a double um, glove box and you also get dashboard cup holders in the top spec model and in this one you just get these funny little holes that you can't even fit a mobile phone in so they're quite pointless. The door bins are a good size in the front, they'll hold two refillable water bottles and an iPad as well. The new Ford Ranger has this really handy new step, which is great for being able to reach up and get things in and out of the tray. The tray of the new Ranger opens really nice and easily. You just gotta be careful it doesn't drop down on any kids' heads. And there's some fantastic little features like this ruler across the back here. So there's no more lying about your fissure court being this big, because you can actually measure it. Also, there's these little holes here, so you can put a G-clamp in there too and uh, start doing some handy work. Let's find out how much you can fit in the tray of the new Ford Ranger Ute. Empty or hold 30 shopping bags, or a twin pram and 24 shopping bags, a tandem pram and 28 shopping bags, a single pram and 23 shopping bags, or a compact stroller and 27 shopping bags, or a few large dogs. Now this sport model is second from top spec, it's a 2 litre diesel. 
Now for just $3,000 more, you can get the three litre V6 model, which does have a better four wheel drive system. So it's probably worth the money. Now there's a couple of things in here when it comes to driving that I don't really like. One is the gear lever. I'm not sure why the button is on the top that you have to press to move the gears. And one's on the side of changing, um, using manually. Now I find with my hands are smaller than probably most men's and I find it really uncomfortable to use that system. Also the door handles, they've moved from on the doors to in the little um, handle wells and they are pretty cool, I quite like them being out the way. You've got to make sure you've got those child locks on the back door because they love to play with them. Now the drive is really good, it feels really nippy and manoeuvrable for such a big ute. Also the turning circle is really nice and small which is fantastic news because being big you need to be able to get about easily and manoeuvre easily so it's really good. Visibility is not too bad in here. Now at the back with three child seats on board it is pretty limited however the side mirrors are really nice and big and that camera system is really good. The new Ford Ranger has a very fancy new media system, which is fantastic. It's got a really lovely clear sat nav view as well. And when you press on this little icon in the top here, you can adjust and set to exactly your settings all these different things, including like the lighting and the sound and different alerts and things like that which is really handy especially when you've got kids. You've also got your aircon controls on there too as well as down in the central dash. Now you've also got this little screen here which you can press on games and you've got a little game there called sketch which we've had a bit of fun with our family to keep the kids entertained when we're waiting at pick up and things like that. Now you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in here as well, which is fantastic. And when you put it into reverse, the camera images are really lovely quality in here, which is great. And you've got lots of different views too. And you can also turn those parking sensors off with a button down in the central console. So to sum up with the new Ford Ranger Sport, what an improvement. The media system is fantastic now and those cameras too. Interior space is really good and you can get those two tethered child seats really nicely in the back and there's room for an infrasecure versatile folding booster seat in the central seat too. Interior legroom is great as well. Now the drive is really good, that really tight turning circle makes maneuverability really good and it's really nippy too. And of course the tray, you can get any size, pram or stroller that you need in the boot.